Tensions between Harry and Meghan at the award show stem from their discovery of private news. The royal family has agreed to make Kate the focal point of their focus. Greetings, pals. Here on Royal Family News Update, we have the latest on the hypocrite royal couple, Harry and Meghan Markle. The second part of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary will broadcast on the same day that the King and Queen Consort will attend the Princess of Wales annual carol service at Westminster Abbey. Kate Middleton is hosting a Christmas carol service on December 15, and the King, Queen, and Prince William will all be in attendance. According to a statement released by Kensington Palace today, this will take place within a few hours of the streaming services premiere of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex 88 million pounds docuseries. In an effort to deflect attention away from the documentary, the royal family will attend the Princess of Wales carol service at Westminster Abbey. Kate, now 40 years old, has just confirmed that O Come, All Ye Faithful would be performed during the service after she gave viewers of Good Morning Britain the opportunity to vote on the matter. It will be aired on ITV1 on Christmas Eve. The purpose of the service is to recognize the generosity of people and communities across the United Kingdom and to stress the importance of aiding those in need. The event, supported by the Royal Foundation, is being spearheaded by the Princess of Wales Band. The joy of community building and doing good deeds for others, even in the face of adversity and tragedy, will be highlighted. It's crafted to appeal to believers of all major religions as well as people who don't practice any. We will be hosting some very special guests here at the Abbey to celebrate these ideals and pay tribute to their selfless service to the world. Princess Diana's birthday party from the year before was attended by Zara and Mike Tyndall, Sophie Wessex, and Prince William, who is also a close friend of the princess. Beatrice, the younger princess, and Eugenie, the older princess, were both photographed singing along with the crowd. The princess was joined by her parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, and her brothers, James and Pippa. After being asked, both the Prince of Wales and ITV host Kate Garraway addressed the congregation during the service. Decorations will be set up all throughout Westminster Abbey, and well-known Christmas carols and readings will be performed in honour of the holiday. Katie Rockliffe, head of entertainment commissioning at ITV, said, It is a genuine pleasure to once again serve as the broadcast partner for the Royal Carols. It's true that Harry enjoyed spending time with William and Kate before the other one showed up, so if this is directed at Kate, it comes from a jealous vindictive narcissistic wife, the same one who disowned her own family. The royal family used this opportunity to call Harry back to the royal family. Because the Windsors observe the German custom of having Christmas Eve dinner and giving gifts, the entire family used to visit the Middletons for a, dare I say it, more casual middle-class Christmas the following day. To fill the void in his own life, he spent holidays with Catherine, her uncle, and their children, and he played with their children. He later told Meghan that his family were like the family she never had when he took her to Balmoral for Christmas. He also said that Catherine was like the sister he never had, referring to the fact that his mother desperately wanted a third child. Everything bad these two have done can be traced back to one person. The one who has a history of manipulating others for her own gain, then casting them aside once their usefulness has expired. The one who publicly disowned her father in front of the world. The one who has repeatedly and brazenly lied about literally everything. It must have come as a shock to Harry's wife Meghan that she had to bow to greet his cousins, as this is against royal protocol. I remember reading there was an issue with Kate having to curtsy to William's cousins if William wasn't in the room, but only the Queen and Charles if William was present. I bet Meghan was gutted last year when Kate played the piano to accompany a performer for her carol concert. She won't allow herself to be upstaged this year. The fight began when Meghan realized she would never have Kate's elegance, culture, or knowledge of good manners following the codes of English society. It was an obvious attempt to steal the spotlight from the Prince and Princess of Wales, but it backfired spectacularly. 
The same will be true during Princess Catherine's upcoming carol service, where the other members of the royal family will help her shine brighter than ever. She has never stopped supporting the UK and the good of the people. Catherine never falters and never complains. No doubt she cries when no one is looking. But then she composes herself and serves the nation dutifully. When she came to Boston, it was eye-opening to see how truly professional and dignified she really is. I thought, ah, Meghan can't possibly be as professional and dignified as Catherine. It's obvious to anyone with a passing familiarity with human psychology that the new girl was jealous of the established, popular girl, and that she enlisted the help of a stupid man to overcome her inferiority complex by playing on his grief over the loss of his mother and his own feelings of inferiority toward his older brother. How terribly vindictive of Harry to try to ruin everyone's lives by constantly trying to cash in on his mother's name, and how low the monetary value of his mother's name has sunk as a result. Remember, Harry, you are not an only child. Your sibling does not try to cash in on his mother's name. It seems like trouble follows Meghan wherever she goes. Her own family has been publicly shamed and made to look like ogres, and the royal family has done the same. All those former courtiers should have a say in all this hubbub. I am confident they would tell a totally different story. Let us know what you think of Kate's cleverness in the royal family making hypocrites, Megan, jealous in the comment section below the video.